What's up guys? We're going to College Station now. We're, it's time for College Game Day. We're going to face Florida today and it's going to be quite a fight. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to have to... It's about 11.52 now, so game starts at 2.30, so I'm going to have to hustle on over there. I haven't even gotten out of Kingwood yet, but we're going to... I think I'm going to have a hard time parking or something. Hopefully there's some police officers or something who's, who can help me. But, but I think this is going to be a good game. The, but I'm, kind, I'm still kind of pissed that I'm, I didn't have anybody to buy my ticket with. I couldn't even get any guest tickets. See, I got a season pass and... I guess a guest ticket would probably, I think, is running like fifty dollars, and I'm and I'm in the third deck, so I'm in the nosebleeds. But uh, okay, well, just cross the railroad tracks. We're gonna we're gonna drive to College Station. I think it's I think it should be about two hours. I think it's about a two-hour drive. Kind of want to get there in time to watch the core. I want to see the court march in. I got to do that once. It was it was really fun. I might put a link on my channel so y'all can see it. I was it was when I was in JRTC for Air Force and I spent the night with the corps there. It was it was really fun. I got to march them in. I got to lead the corps into Kyle Field. It was real. It was a really fun experience, but. But now I'm, I'm getting on the highway, so I guess I'll see y'all later. Maybe when I, I'm getting a little closer, I might do another vlog. See ya. What's up, guys? Now we're in Conroe. This is the Conroe area. It's, it's a pretty pretty nice town. It's kind of got this urbanized, small town feeling. If you, if you get my meaning, I don't know if that's a oxymoron or what but it's but it it just feels kind of like a little small town but it also feels slightly urbanized it's got a lot taller buildings than in Kingwood Kingwood we don't have any we pretty much don't have anything over three or four stories like they got some stuff that looks like it could be six or more usually not quite as open there's usually trees everywhere in Kingwood but I'm on 105 now. I was, uh, you last saw me, I was on Highway 59, then I got on 1314. Took that away, and I don't know if you can, you can't really see it. You can't, I don't think you can see it on the windshield, but there's a lot of love bugs out and about, and I kept, I hit so many of them, and my, my windshield is covered in guts. Covered in guts and blood. But, oh man. Those guys are everywhere. I've, I've only just now started seeing them. And they've gotten pretty bad. Say, so, okay. So, what road have we got up here? This, this isn't 45. I don't know what road I'm coming up to right now. Yeah, that's, this is I-45 coming up on I-45, but I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not getting on there. I'm going to Highway 6. Oh, we got some construction or something going on. Maybe expanding the highway or something. Maybe. I don't know. But, but I'm, so the car ride's pretty lonely. I'm going to probably be making this trip probably more often when I'm when I actually go to school there of course it depends on where Morgan's going to school might go I think she's she wants to go to uh, U, UT Maine or TU as us Aggies call it but we're if she goes to UT Maine, it might be a bit easy if I'm in College Station. It's only maybe an hour, an hour and a half from College Station to Austin. So, we would, 
we wouldn't be all that far apart from each other, so it wouldn't be all that bad. But if, but if she, in the event that she doesn't get to UT Maine, knock on wood, don't really have any wood in here, but just, just pretend I'm knocking on wood, that uh, she might go to UT Arlington, and that's probably more like three hours away from College Station. I'm, I'm really hoping that I'll, that I get into College Station. That's that's what I'm really hoping for. But if not, I might be stuck at Galveston for another year. But I'd, I'd really like to be up in College Station. I think that would be really, really fun. I probably wouldn't come home as much since Morgan probably won't be, still won't be in Kingwood. I mean, I'll come home to see my family every now and, now and again. But I think Morgan might get an apartment wherever she goes, whether that's Austin or Arlington. So if we, she goes to Arlington, I don't, I don't know if I can make a three hour drive twice a week. Out, that's, that's pretty tough. Well, maybe we might make, meet in Waco or something. That would probably be about, it's about halfway, so it's about an hour and a half. I don't know if it's kind of sad, but I'm already missing her. I've, I only just saw her maybe an hour ago. But, yeah, she's, she's something else. We're doing this long distance relationship thing. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but it, because it, it's, it's tough, it's hard, but but I think Morgan and I will be okay. That, that's all. That's all I want. Just because I love her to death, and I couldn't see myself with anyone else. But, let's see, where are we now? We're at loop three thirty-six. So we're kind of got through the main part of Conroe. We'll probably be coming up on. Lake Conroe pretty soon. It's a pretty big lake. So I guess I'll see y'all Hey guys, we are now at Lake Conroe. Let's see if you can see out a bit. Can't really see a whole lot. Here, let me see if I can give you a little better look. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, that's just a little bit of it. It's actually a really big lake. It's huge. One's caught a well, not me, but they, some people once caught like a 23-foot alligator in there. Makes you think twice about getting in the water, doesn't it? But I think I'm about maybe 30, 35 miles to Highway 6. Kind of, it's kind of where Navasota, I think, is where is the town it's at. The where I supposed to turn. That's where Highway Six runs right through there. Get out of this big ass motherfucker, Cowboy Troy or Cowboy Tony. I don't know what it says. I think I can probably... I'll probably be on Highway 6 about 1 o'clock. It's 12.39 now, so... I could probably be there about 1. I'll... Not, maybe not that soon. Maybe about 1.10 or so. Because... Traffic's not... It's not too bad, but it's... But I can't really go a whole lot more than 60 miles an hour, so I'm going about a um, minute an hour. Oh look, the heat ejects. You can see it. But uh and also I got a cop up there, so I can't, can't can't really speed too much. Yeah. Oh we got 
gotten through Conroe, past Lake Conroe, and now kind of getting closer to Navasota. To get to Navasota, we're going to get on Highway 6. So I guess I'll see you when I get to Navasota. Hey guys, at long last, we are now finally at Highway 6. Right, right up there. getting a lot closer now. We're now that we're you know, just now going to get on Highway 6. It's I don't I don't remember it being too far down. I've only been here maybe three times. Yeah, I think I've only been to College Station maybe three times. I went once to visit. I visit I visited with my mom. once with my mom. I went up for J-Cap and I visited again with Morgan. But I think I think that's the only I think those are the only three times I've ever actually been up here. And it's like it's 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 a fun it's a fun drive. There's usually something interesting to see but that last after after you get out of Conroe, it's like all country. There's nothing to see. But College Station is in the middle of the country, so yeah, it's kind of what you gotta expect. You're gonna see. You're gonna see country. And there's this guy tailgating me. He needs to get off my ass. I don't I don't really want to make that often. It's, it's a bit it's a bit longer than than just Galveston. It's probably been maybe about an hour and a half since I left. Yeah, it's, that's safe to say it's probably been about an hour and a half. and bad things being out in the country. One of the bad things is there's not exactly all that much to do. Like with the Galveston, there's stuff to do everywhere. You can do just about anything in Galveston. So much to do. College Station. Not, not a whole lot. You got... Pretty much everything you need is probably on campus. It's a, it's a really big campus. But I, I imagine that traffic's going to be pretty bad when I get, when I get down, get over there. College Station, 22 miles. Mm, so yeah, I think I'll. It'll probably be about a two-hour drive, all in all, getting there. Probably be, be at College Station, probably about well, less than 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Probably take about 10 minutes to actually get to the college. Probably take me forever to park. Probably it's going to take me a while to walk in. I don't know where I can park because I've never actually gone to the a &M game except for at JCAP. So I don't I really don't know what to do. This this'll be a this will be a first for me. But I bet it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be pretty bad 
traffic when we get in there, so probably shouldn't, uh, or I should, probably shouldn't do a vlog while I'm trying to, while I, when I get there, but I might, I might give y'all a quick look-see, so y'all can get a little good look at the university for those of you who haven't seen it before, so. Band formation of 12 files by 30 ranks at the 50 yard line, the alternating rank drill to a continuous block band countermark. The music is the St. Julian March. Cadet Colonel J.P. Barton. The head drum major is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Michael Froble. Infantry band drum major is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Heather Ortega. Artillery band drum major is Cadet Major Andrew Mann. The Fighting Texas Aggie Band salutes the Southeastern Conference today as the Texas Aggies kick off this inaugural SEC football game and welcome. is the pulse of the spirit of Aggieland, the 2012-2013, the Fighting Texas Aggie Band. Man TV as David Gardner's presents Ask the Sorry guys, I didn't really get to show you a whole lot of the university, but at least y'all got to see Kyle Field. It was it was pretty It was it was a fun game. It was it was nice. Well, uh, I didn't I didn't actually stay through the whole thing. I I left I left like uh, right after half sorry. I left like right after halftime.
because it's not exactly quite as fun when you don't have anybody with you. I mean, it was still fun either way, but I really wanted to see the Aggie band as, as I guess y'all saw. They're, they're, they're really fun to watch. And they're always like, I don't know how to describe it, but they can stay in step so well and they have really good, really good technique. But, but I'm, but I'm back on 105 now. I spent pretty much all of Highway 6 coming back, talking to Morgan. But we got cows. Peace.